So a couple of weeks ago, I did a new build, a new computer build for the studio for video editing. Uh, and it's kind of like an open source build focused on open source. Well, on the, in the comments uh, on YouTube on that video, there was a user, uh, no main bear, and he says, you should have invested in a QMK compatible keyboard to go with your Linux setup. And I've been using mechanical keyboards for a while, but I've never really looked into the open source um, firmware or software for the keyboards. Anyway, so I've, ever since this comment, thanks to No Main Bear, I've been just going deep down into this rabbit hole of learning about mechanical keyboards. That's why I have all these keys yeah, I'm just laying around all over the place. <laughs> and I built a mechanical keyboard. So this is the Atrius. And the reason I'm sharing it on this channel is because this is a completely open source build. So the case, uh, I had it laser cut, so I just went to the GitHub page and downloaded the plans to have this laser cut. So I had this custom laser cut, I ordered these bolts to screw it together. The keys it uses are these uh, Gatoron green clicky switches. Anyway, I have a whole build video on my other channel, I'll include a link in the description of this video showing how to build this exact thing, uh, keyboard. But I just wanted to show you this. I'll include also the link to the GitHub page. You can order this. Uh, I think you can get it pre-built. It's a little bit pricey. But building it yourself is the way to go. And it runs on the QMK software. So it has inside of it a little Pro Micro, uh, like an Arduino clone. These are a couple bucks, five bucks for this little board. It has a USB port on it. And so this cord actually just plugs right into my computer. And I'm gonna replace this cord as well with something a little more fancy. But anyway, the, the firmware on this is open source, which means I can program this board to do to be anything. Um, you notice it only has a few, not so many keys, and that's because you hold down like a function key over here, and it changes, just like the shift key toggles between uppercase and lowercase letters, where well, you can have like the function key and the Q, it becomes exclamation point. Or the function key also turns all these letters over here into numbers, so it's like a 10 key number pad. Anyway, really, really cool. And so now what I've been doing is actually going through and learning how to type for reels. Because I've just kind of been like, I don't know, not necessarily two fingers, but I use maybe like three. I hardly ever use my pinkies, and I just didn't stay on the home row very much. Um, anyway, I just wanted to share this really, really cool project. So check out the other video on my other channel if you're interested in the build of this. It's just a really, really cool keyboard. And I just love that it's all open source, you know, building your own uh, keyboard. A huge shout out to, um, I should really mention the, uh, the developer. So QMK is also open source software, but then this keyboard is a separate project. Um, it's the Atrius keyboard. You can learn more at uh, atrius.technomancy.us. Uh, I'll include that link. But it's uh, Phil Hagelberg. So Phil Hagelberg is the person that designed this. He's open sourced it under the GNU General Public uh, License version 3.0. So just really, really awesome. You can, like I said, you can download and contribute to this. There's all kinds of different build guides and people showing you uh, how they've built theirs and how they came together. But it's just a really cool ergonomic keyboard and it's open source and um, you can really make this your own. So just something a little different today, you know, talking about open source hardware. I wanna, I'm want i getting into a lot more open source hardware type stuff. I've always kind of had an interest for it. The software just makes a lot of sense and I'm gonna to continue to make a lot of good uh, software content, uh, teaching about open source and free software. But every time I come across a project or if you know of a project that's an open source hardware like this, where you can download the hardware plans and, and build it, or the 3D designs or 2D laser cut designs, um, let me know about those because I'd love to, to look into projects like that. So thanks for watching, hopefully you found this video informative. If you have any questions about the Atris, about this build or about anything, um, open source related or open source hardware related, please leave your questions in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.